So we are going to start something today that is called multiplying polynomials and special products. So this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply polynomials, um, just kind of based on how they look, you kind of do it slightly different. Of course, um, I'm going to on the side do like a little abstract version of what's happening. Um, there are some students of mine that I know, like kind of showing them like formulas in a way um, will help them just to do other problems when different numbers are involved. If it is something that just still just looks a little too foreign to you, just listen to the steps that I say whenever I do the multiplication. Um, the majority of this section is honestly, it's just distribution and um, combining like terms. So let's go and get started. So like problem one says that I'm going to multiply. I'm going to go ahead and cover that up. We know what this is. There we go. 12.5 multiplying polynomials and special products right there. So number one, we're going to hide this <clears throat> is doesn't it kind of look blurry? I wonder if it's because I was too zoomed out. It looks weird. Um, so in parentheses, I've got two different terms. The first term is four X to the ninth. The second term is two X to the fourth. So what you do is you're going to multiply the coefficients together and then you're going to apply the product rule. We have a video for product rule also if you need it. Okay. So four times two is eight signs are the same. So it's positive X to the ninth times X to the fourth. Are they the same variable? Yes. When you multiply variables, you keep your variable and you add your exponent. That's it. You're done. So the abstracty part of what I was saying was this is like doing a to the m times look we had a using it that way. Let's do this. Say our coefficient is m. Our variable is nope, because I'm gonna have an m there too. <laughs> um Okay, so the rule we used was our variables multiplying each other. Um, the only thing is I kind of wanted to use a different letter for our coefficient. Um, I'm afraid that that would just get way too ugly looking. And honestly, I've used A, I've used M. I don't want it to get more confusing. I want there to like be a correlation in the product rule video that I posted. So what we did was what? We kept our variable and we added our exponent. Y'all, the only difference in this example was that I had coefficients here. Also, you could say that we've got that invisible one. One times one was one. If it was one times two, we'd get two. Four times two, we got eight. Keep your variable, add your exponents, right? We've done that. Okay, so let's do this. Start the problem. We have a 9x, and that is multiplying the binomial 8x plus 7. So... What you do here is distribution, which we've done. We take our 9x and we multiply it, multiply it to everything inside of the parentheses. 9 times 8 is 72. Signs are the same, so it's positive. Multiplying variables, keep an add. 9 times 7 is 63. Signs are the same, so it's positive. Okay, x times no x, right? 9x times 7 is 63x. That x with our 9 multiplied with the 7, right? It was a part of our original multiplication. Therefore, it has to be a part of our product. Now, technically, technically, this is what I wanted to show some people. Um, technically, I did 9x times 7x to the 0. Yeah, it looks weird, doesn't it? But it, that's exactly what I did. So, question. You could remember the 0 exponent rule, right? The 0 exponent rule just stated that anything raised to the 0 power was 1. So, you could say, oh, that's just 9x times, well, that went to 1. 7 times 1 is just 7 and then do your multiplication that way. Or you can do multiply the coefficients, keep an add. Nine times seven is 63. 
keep your variable, add your exponents, 63x, because 1 plus 0 is 1. You see what I'm saying? There's multiple different ways that you can look at that. Just understand that even though the x was here and, and, and it's not here, it still goes there. Okay, it doesn't fall off, it doesn't disappear, it doesn't just magically not um, get listed with your product like it was a part of the original multiplication so it's a part of your product okay y'all so that was just that little technical thing right there to show everybody let's do this one i've got a term next to a parenthesis what we do is distribution so let's distribute multiply your coefficients first Look at your variables. If it's the exact same variable, you can use the product rule. If it's not the exact same variable, you just multiply them together. So 7 times 3 is 21. x cubed times x squared, multiplying variables, keep and add. 7 times 4 is 28. Signs are different, so it's negative. x cubed times x is keep and add. 7 times 6 is 42. Signs are the same, so it's positive. x cubed times no x is just x cubed. Okay, let's do this one. Same distribution. 7 times 4 is 28. Signs are the same, so it's positive. x cubed times x cubed is keep and add. 4 times 1 is 4. Signs are different, so it's negative. x squared times x, you keep and add, which would be a 3, so x cubed. And then 4 times 6 is 24. Signs are the same, so it's positive. x squared times no x is just x squared. My kids keep going in and out, in and out, grabbing food, coming back in. Coming in, getting food, going back out. Okay, so here, let's do this multiplication. This one's where it kind of gets a little crazy, y'all. Same thing. Look at your coefficients. Look at their signs. Look at the variables. Look at your coefficients. Look at the signs. Look at the variables, right? Product rule when you can apply the product rule. So 5 times 3 is 15. Signs are the same, so it's positive. Individually do the variables, y'all, okay? Okay x times x keep and add y squared times y squared keep and add got it scooch on over 5 times 4 is 20 signs are different so it's negative x times x keep and add y squared times y keep and add 5 times 3 is 15 signs are the same so it's positive x times x is x squared. y squared times no y is still y squared. That's your answer. Okay, so I think this one's a little fun. So what we're going to do, I'm going to do my rainbows in two different colors, okay? When you see a binomial times a trinomial, a binomial times a binomial, a binomial times a polynomial, whatever you have, once you notice that you have multiple terms multiplying other multiple terms, what you do is you multiply each term in your first polynomial individually with each term in your second polynomial. So I'm going to do 2x times that times this times this. And then I'm going to do my 6 times this times this times this. And then lastly, what I'll do is I'll combine like terms. So watch me do all those blue. Um, what are those? arrows just watch me do all the blue arrows 2x times 2x squared 2 times 2 let's do it in the same color y'all 2 times 2 is 4 signs are the same so it's positive x times x squared keep and add 2 times 8 is 16 signs are the same so it's positive x times x is keep and add x squared 2 times 2 is 4 Signs are the same, so it's positive. X times no X is just X. Now do this multiplication. 
6 times 2 is 12. Signs are the same, so it's positive. No x times x squared is just x squared. 6 times 8. 6 times 8 went out the door, came back, and it was, nope, 8 times 6. What's 6 times 8? 48. Oh, that was 8 times 8 went out the door, came back, and it was 64. Um, 6 times 8. Wasn't there like a rhyme for that? I know it's 48, but I thought there was a rhyme. So, 6 times 8 is 48. Now my brain's like racking itself, and it's like, what was that rhyme? Um, no x times x is x. And then 6 times 2 is 12. Signs are the same, so it's positive. Am I done? Not quite. Let's combine like terms. Is there another term that has the variable and the exponent x cubed? Nope. So you just write for x cubed. So 16x squared and a 12x squared. Those signs are both the same. They're positive. So I'm going to combine them and keep the sign, keep the variable, keep the exponent. 4x. Go back right here, y'all. Um, right here. The 6 times positive 8x. When I couldn't remember the rhyme. 6 times 8 is 48. Signs are the same. So it's positive. Okay. So now I have a positive 4x and a positive 48x. And what I would get is 52. 48, 49, 51, 52. So 52, am I in purple? I'm in black. That's a positive 52. Keep your variable. Keep your exponent. And all I have is 8 plus 12. So that's the answer for that one. So would you see how I took each term in the first polynomial and multiplied it individually to each term in the second polynomial? The next one's going to be a, a trinomial times a trinomial. Um, you do the exact same thing. Individually do all the multiplication and then just combine like terms. I still have quite a few left. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and stop this video and then start another one, okay? So make sure you all ask questions. I'm here for that reason to answer them all. Thanks. Bye.